it is. The holy grail of Christmas gifts, the Red Ryder 200-shot range model air rifle. The Daisy Red Ryder 200-shot double action. <laughs> the truth of the matter is, this little baby was kind of what the movie was about. I want an official Red Ryder carbon action 200-shot range model air rifle. Ooh. I had, like, an air rifle when I was a kid. I know as a kid I had always wanted one. Never got it. I wanted it, though. Daisy actually got its start as an iron windmill company. In 1888, a local inventor in, uh, in Plymouth uh, brought in a contraption that he had, had built that because it had a stock and a barrel on it, had to be called a gun, but that was about the only resemblance to a gun at the time, and showed it to uh, Lewis Cass Huff, who was the president of Plymouth Iron Windmill Company. So they took it out back and uh, set up a shingle, and, and uh, old Mr. Huff shot at it, and hit the shingle, and put a hole in it. And he turned to uh, Clarence Hamilton, who was the inventor, and he said, "Boy, Clarence, that's a daisy." 1895, they were out of the windmill business. They were building air guns, and they decided they needed to change the name of the company. And so, the gun had been called Daisy. That was the name that was on the gun. So they went ahead and called it the Daisy Manufacturing Company. Red Rider was a very popular comic book character, and there were even movies produced about Red Rider. So he was very well known by the young people at that time. I think that everybody should have a Red Rider BB gun. They're very good for Christmas. By 1947, Daisy was producing and selling over a million Red Riders a year. And uh, that was just an absolutely unheard of number of guns at that time. Well, it's just me and my trusty old Red Rider Carbine Action 2 on the shot range model air rifle. Lucky I got a compass in the stock. When Gene Shepard approached us to make the movie, he remembered the original gun, but he also remembered a compass and sundial, which was not on the original gun. It was on our number 107 Buck Jones pump gun. I tried to explain to him that that gun never existed. And we went back and forth a couple of times, and uh, finally it reached the point that uh, somebody in the producer's office told me that he, he really didn't give a damn whether it did or not, that that's, uh, that's the way Gene Shepard had written, and that's the way he wanted it, and would we pr provide it for him? And I said, okay, we will. We added the compass and sundial and ended up with our Christmas story version of the Red Rider. <laughs> You'll shoot your eye out, kid. They are not toys. They are air guns. And we take very seriously the um, commitment to safety. We have a program that's called Take Aim at Safety, and it's 10 shooting safety rules that starts young people out learning how to safely use an air gun. The Red Rider probably means um, so much to people out there because it's probably the first time that they were given responsibility from their parents that you know, you're old enough, you're responsible enough now to, to handle this BB gun. It's, it's, it's definitely sort of a rite of passage to get that first gun. Can I, can I try it out, Ma? Can I? OK. But outside, oh, I still say those things are dangerous. Peter Billings, who was the only one that did engage with a gun, and there was always a prop man there to, to take it when the work was done. The prop guy hands it to you, and he has to show you that it's not loaded, and he opens it, and he sort of shakes it so you hear that there's, that there's nothing in it. And then he'll let you cock it and shoot it, but they don't want you pointing it at anyone. I remember it was, like, held by props, and the kids really weren't allowed to see it. I was, like, begging the prop guy, and I was like, God, let me just hold it, man. Just hold it, because it looked so cool, you know what I mean? Seize it, boys! There were two scenes that were a lot of fun to shoot with the guns. Certainly when I'm taking shots, I think it refers to it as plucking off shots at the uh, bad guys because you get to cock and shoot quickly. And then there was a scene in the film that didn't make the final cut where I was teamed up with Flash Gordon and we were shooting aliens and I got to fire off a lot of shots with that as well. I didn't get to keep one of the, the rifles from the movie, although many years later now I've acquired one and I have it in my personal collection and it's up on my wall. Bob. Um, and Renee, the producer, were kind enough to give me 
the Red Rider gun from the film that has a plaque in the actual compass in the stock, and I still, I still have it every now and then, take it out in the yard and fire off a few shots.